first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this lesson number one on the topic statistics so we are just going to see only the overview about this topic so this topic is important for which competitive exam and if you are preparing for a certain competitive exams you don't want to learn this topic because it was not there in your syllabus right so just we are going to see a complete overview about this topic statistics so first let's talk about this topic statistics this statistics is the topic that you can see in the quantitative aptitude session so if you are preparing for the two major exams like a railway graduate level exam or else ssc staff selection exam you should definitely learn this topic why because if, when you look into the previous year question papers you can able to see one or two question find the mean find the mode so definitely this topic is more and more important on the mathematics or quantitative aptitude session so other than this if you are preparing for a national defense academy or ssb exams or some graduate level state level exams then definitely just look into your syllabus whether in the syllabus we have a topic statistics yes then come and learn this video and if you are preparing for particularly if you are preparing for a bank exams so kindly you don't want to watch this video and this course is completely a waste for you why because so in your bank syllabus we don't have this statistics topic so better if you are preparing only for the bank exams kindly do not watch the course right so now entering into this statistics for the railway as well as for ssc and for other important competitive exams so first this statistics uh, have a three major category one is mean second is a median and third is a mode these are the three major category that you have to learn in the topic statistics for example if you take the first category mean for a mean you have to know how to solve a question if it is a series so for example in the exam they usually give you a series and they will ask you find what is mean or else they will give you a series find what is median so that is one type of question and the second type of question is a table for example they will give you all the values in a table chart right by looking into the table you have to find what is the mean or else what is the median or else the third category of question is you can able to see complete values is in the form of sentence so you have to read the sentence and you have to find out all the values and then you have to apply the formula to find mean or median or mode whatever be so if you take this three major category topic that is major category on this topic statistics mean median and mode for every session you have to know how to solve all the three type of question so first type a passage based question second type a series based question and the third type a chart based question even in some in the, some chart values you can able to see some of the values will be missing in the chart itself that too you should know how to solve a question on mean median mode so don't think that it's a difficult topic it's very very simple and easiest topic you don't want to learn that much formulas here just three or four formulas are there and each and totally i'm saying right for a mean median mode other than this we have two important area one is a standard deviation and the last is the one property so property is like uh, lhs is equal to rhs a basic property right so standard deviation we have one formula in mean we have one formula median we have one formula and mode we have one formula so totally the four to five formulas are there to solve the complete statistics topic don't think that it's a vast syllabus or very hard to learn it's very easy to learn just if you understand the concept solving all the questions on your railway or ssc will be easy so now uh, from lesson number two that is from the next lesson we will be start learning from the first category mean and we will be solving all the three different type of question and then next category median all different three types of question so uh, don't forget to watch this series continuously so that if you watch this video continuously right next next lesson definitely solving a question in your exam will be very very easy and very simple because many students have repeatedly mailing me that uh, they feel statistics topic is very difficult for them 
No, it is not difficult. If you understood the concept, it is easy. Even without a formula, you can solve this question. Right? Just like that, you can solve question what we learned in the average basics of average. Okay, let's talk about uh, while solving all those questions later on. But it's just a lesson number one overview about this topic, right? So I have I have told you all the important things. So who should learn this topic and who should not learn this topic? And inside the topic, what are all the formulas are there? How many formulas are there? And what are all the type of questions they can ask you in the exams? From lesson number two, we can start solving the questions. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video soon. So thank you so much. Bye.